Hi, I'm just going to do, uh, this is a model I'm working on, and I'm copying some plates and some holes, and the holes change location, and it's just a little trick I use. So, I'm going to copy this plate down, but I've also got to create a new set of holes, so if I, I'm going to use the advanced copy, so go to your tools, advanced copy, and I'm going to copy down. I've already copied other plates the same distance, so I'm just going to make one copy and select the objects in case I didn't have the right plate selected. And preview. That is the wrong direction. So let's modify that. And we want to go in the X direction, 3 for 10 and a half. So go in X direction, 3 for 10.5, preview, okay. So now the problem is I need to extend the plate down and I'm going to cut it around this slab. So let's go into 2D and if I extend this, the holes will stay in the same place. So let's extend this down to the bottom of this plate. That's good, and then we're going to cut the end of this, so let's go to Features, uh, sorry, Features, select the plate, and we're going to pick the same as this, and the contour is going to be 1 inch contour, and we'll drag this down to cut right through. Alright, so now the problem is these holes, so... I need a double hole, so let's double click on this. The distance is going to be, I want two this direction, the distance is four, so that's correct. So now there's two ways that I copy these holes or move these holes. Uh, you can either click on this and go back into your advanced copy, and you can move two inches this direction. Just click move, sorry, reset and click two inches in the x direction preview and you can see that's moved that or what i do is a lot of times is i'll select the holes and then i'll just copy down two inches and then i'll just delete the first set of holes and that's just quicker rather than opening that macro because if you click on the holes and just do move under two inches it won't move them that way so this might be useful. Alright, thank you.